Hello everybody, David back here. So I'm going live tonight. I'm going to wait to see if some people... I'm a little bit early. I told people I'd come on at 11 to do some mini readings and just if anyone has any questions. Oh, 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 I'm seeing people come on. Hello, hello. Well, hello, Christian. Who else is with us? <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> How are you tonight? Today, where are you? <laughs> I am your biggest fan. <laughs> well, thanks. <laughs> you can be the president. Angelique. Nice to see your smiling face. Blessings. Well, hello. Thanks for joining. I'm so glad you're here. Okay. So, is it Angelique? Is that how, that's how you pronounce it, correct? Angelique. Angelica. <laughs> no, it's Angelique, right? Christian, love to see your smile. Well, thank you. <laughs> it is Angelique. Okay. Michelle, hi, honey. How are you? So, everybody, I'm not going to stay on long this evening because you all know how I could talk for, like, hours. Christian, I wish you are here in Bali. Please come to Bali, Mr. Handsome. Maybe someday I'll make it to Bali. That would be amazing. You're going to hear Mindy tap dancing in the background. She's walking around. I've let her out of the kitchen. She's doing better, yet I have to watch her like a hawk. So um, if you get up, if you see me get up and run, it means she's like going potty because I think she's still not over her kidney infection or her back. Suzanne, hi. Hi was online and just got this notification, so thought I would see what it is about new for me. Okay, all right, Suzanne. Well, let's see. Um, hi, Donna. <laughs> all right, so, um, okay, immediately, Suzanne, everyone, I've got three decks of cards here. Um, one deck by Doreen Virtue and two decks by John Holland. So, Suzanne, I actually pulled, um, I, I, I grabbed the Psychic Tarot Heart deck. So, when I was reading your question, like, my hand went to that. So, that's the deck we're going to pull from. So, just concentrate on your... Uh, it's late. I've been up since 4 o'clock this morning, so bear with me. It's 10.55 here in Chicago. Hey, Sheila. Hey, Sassafras. <laughs> All right. So, wait. I need to scroll back up because this question is for Suzanne. So, let's see what Spirit says for Suzanne. Hey, Boris. Okay. So, Suzanne, I pulled Take the Lead. So, being that I grabbed this from the Psychic Tarot for the Heart by John Hollins, um, take the lead is about taking the lead in relationships, taking the lead. And now when we take the lead in relationships, sometimes it can come across maybe a bit controlling, right? Um, and I, 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 I have this feeling, Suzanne, tell me if I'm correct at this. Do you tend to get like resistance and people say you're so controlling? Um, we can get controlling and when we take the lead, you're being a leader yet to be a great leader is also to be a great follower, to know how to listen, to listen in compassion. So taking the lead really is about taking the lead in your own life and the red fire here. When I look at this, I, I think of passion. It's holding the, your passion in your hand. Whatever you have on the back burner, it's time to take off. 
okay? It's time to stop putting the projects on hold and do it. Now, sometimes we can get overwhelmed because I've got this and I've got this and I've got this and la la Trust me, I know. It's just about taking that initiative. Okay, sometimes I am a teacher. Wait, someone's... Okay. Sometimes I am a teacher. Take lead in my own life. Yes, on that one. Okay, right. So, you know, when we're a teacher, sometimes it's a little challenging to, like, focus on us and really do. So I also keep seeing... Um, paintbrushes, Suzanne, do you draw or paint um, anything artistic like that, please? Um, if so, um, pull out a canvas and allow yourself to just paint. Don't judge it. Allow spirit to move through you um, and play and have fun with it. And um, no, but I should. I have a degree in art. Ha! Okay! Ha! 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 Right there. You should stop shitting on yourself. Okay? You could if you want to and if you choose to. Um, you should. There's that controlling thing that I was talking about. When we should, you should do this. You should do that. We should do this. I should do this. I don't know about you, but I don't feel too good about myself when I'm shooting on myself. Ugh. Right? So... Embrace that and um, just, you could. Give yourself the gift. Paint, you know. Honor the degree. Honor those years that you put into your schooling and celebrate yourself. You know, paint or draw something, okay? All right, I hope that supports you, Suzanne. Michelle, I just gave my baby another chemo pill. I hate that I have to do this and I am so sad. I hear you. Um, Lisa, hi. <laughs> You're going to run out of battery. Um, Michelle, don't, I, 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 I know. Uh, let go of the hate and just love your baby. Let go of the, the hate. But yeah, I know. I don't, I really dislike giving Mindy pills. And right now she's out of them. And I'm, we're te I'm testing her to see if she's okay doing without them. Um, so, but, you know, we got to take care of ourselves. We, you're welcome, Suzanne. We've got to take care of our babies. We take aspirin, right? And, you know, your baby, Michelle, is going to let you know when it's time. I believe that. It's challenging. I mean, remember, everyone, Michelle is a, a very dear friend of, like, 20 years. Remember, we had four cats. I had Misty and Misfit from a previous relationship, and then we had Miranda and Manda Bear. And Misty went first. He was the oldest. Then um, Misfit. That was his sister. Then my Miranda. And then Manda... Or no, then Manda Bear. She was the youngest, actually, of the four cats. And then Miranda. Miranda, actually, I needed, I needed to put down, actually, all of them. Um... But Miranda actually went the day before I broke my ankle, which was just five months before I ended my relationship. So, yeah. <laughs> uh, all right. So, yeah, Michelle, you got people here. Love you. Oh, there's 13. Who else is here? Who else has questions for me? Who wants to know what? Let's just see. James. Hi, James. When are things going to change for me in all areas, even love? Um, okay, well, that's going to be a very... You, you may not like this answer. Things are going to change for you when you start acknowledging the change. When you begin acknowledging the choices that you're making that um, inspire you. Um, when you begin loving yourself as you want to be loved. That's when things are going to change. Um, I, fe I feel like I need to say something about a legal document. I don't know if you're thinking about purchasing or selling a home, James, or if there's anything like legal going on. Um, I feel really good about it. Um, so are you thinking about selling your home or purchasing a home? 
Hi, Susie. Susie Snowflake, that's not your name. <laughs> Mindy, off. Uh, Mindy, off. James, you're not. Uh, maybe, sir, maybe it's... Mm, journal about it. Uh, is there anything about a move? I want to say something about move. So, again, when are things going to change for you? When you acknowledge that. Janine, hi, David, my cousin. My cousin, I am so close to passed away suddenly in November. I think about him several times a day. Does he think about me? Um, Min forgive me one minute. Mindy, off. Mindy, do not jump. Um, when you're thinking about him several times a day, yes, our loved ones are actually right beside us. You know, if your loved one is buried in a cemetery, their bones or anything like that, or we go to the cemetery to honor, yes, yet our loved ones come with us. They aren't staying there, sitting on the thing. Hi, when they're going to show up, they're all around us. Um, so when you're thinking about them, Know that they're right there. Um, also, when you hear the song, they're right there. Know that they're thinking about you. Pay attention to the signs. Um, they're all around. My mom shows up in the form of a bird outside. Um, it, because the bird actually sounds like DJ, but there's a story with me and mom and birds. Anyway, and she said, I'm going to come back to you as a bird. And she did. <laughs> so. Oh, thanks. I get it. Oh, okay. You get it, James? That makes sense to you? Good. Good, good, good. Hi, Denarte. Carm, hi. Sassafras, I'd love any messages you have for me. Wondering if anyone, anyone is with me watching over. All of your loved ones and ancestors. That, that again. Our loved ones, our ancestors, ancestors that we don't even know are watching over us. I don't believe in hell, per se, you know, religious way. Um, yet I do believe that, you know, hell is on earth. <laughs> um, yet not the fire and brimstone kind. Um, but our loved ones, our ancestors, I, I especially feel like I need to say... Um, Grandma, and I, I, I get a letter M. I don't know if this means, oh, well, hello, your last name, Marino. Um, but I, was your grandma's first name, did she, it begin with an M, or is it? Um, but it's like I want to say grandma. So, no, I feel like compelled. Are you, were you close with grandma? Um. Sassafras, yes. Okay, so perfect, perfect. Was the M like her like first name too, or was what's the M? Sassafras, Mary. Ah, okay, perfect. Okay, so there we go. No, you asked if a loved one's around. I'm getting grandma, and I got the M. So she's right there. Um. Also, I I did. I want to rub my arm right now. See how this is happening? Was there anything to do with her arm, like eczema or elbow? I feel itchy. Okay. While you think of that, sassafras, <laughs> sassafras, I love that. Um... Hmm, not thinking. Not thinking. Okay, maybe something to check into, but for something, I don't know. All right, go, yeah. Um, Sheila, I'm going to go back up and, all right. James, um, immediately I feel with that, I want to say pick up the phone. Pick up the phone and have patience. I do want to say yes, I feel a reuniting. Um want to grab this card for you, James. Oh, look. Okay, I grabbed it out of the middle of the deck. So it's overcoming difficulties. This is Doreen Virtue's angel cards. Um, this is Archangel Jeremiah says, the worst is now behind you and you are surmounting any previous challenges. So that also, hello, I think you were asking about the challenges. 
so it all aligns for you, okay? So, don't know where she is. Okay, well, I didn't know where my brother was. I prayed, I looked up at the full moon, I visualized, um, our blood, our siblings, our heritage, anyone that you think about can feel you. So believe enough in it. And, and I, I know without a shadow of a doubt, you'll reunite. Just believe and do everything you can. Do everything you can. When I was looking for my brother, I got inspired to look somewhere. I went, didn't know what it meant. That led me somewhere else, and I ended up finding him. So trust and just do. Oh, I believe. All right, keep doing that, and just keep, keep asking around, keep thinking about him, keep putting it out to the universe. I say praying, meditating, it's all the same, really. Just put that positive energy out. Hi, Natalie. Yay. All right, Sheila. I'm curious what the best way is to learn to contact Spirit Guides for guidance. Do you offer meditation training? Yes, I do. Um, I, I've been thinking about doing a group class, but I do do individuals. Um, I need to go back up because we're asking a lot. Um, oh, God. I'm so like energized now. See, this is what happens with readings. Um, the best way to learn to connect with spirit guides for guidance, Sheila, trust yourself. You go within, you meditate. If you feel something around you, if you feel an energy, ask who's with me. Trust the first name. Trust the first instinct. Trust yourself. Trust them. Hi, Johnny. Can I still call you Johnny? <laughs> oh my gosh, Johnny was my next door neighbor when I lived with my grandma. Well, and also um, when I lived with my mom too in there because you guys were over there too. Um, wow, blast from the past. Why haven't I heard from my deceased mother in quite a long time? Probably because you're trying too hard. <laughs> and did you connect with a medium? Or are you asking what, what, if you're going in, you know, and if you do it a lot, sometimes we don't need to hear from them. All right. Um, let me go back. Deanna. Hi, David. I too would love any messages you have for me. Do I know this, Deanna? <laughs> All right. The name looks familiar. All right. Um. I want to go to this one. And then, ah, Deanna, I pulled Fulfillment of Wishes when I was thinking your name. Hello, Mal. Thank you for joining us. All right. Um, who is this for? I'm sorry. Oh, my gosh. I got to scroll up to see. Deanna. Okay. And this is, uh, all these messages that I'm giving, they're not just for the one person because we learn from each other. There's learning in it for all. There's a gift for in it all. So fulfillment of wishes. As I was saying to James, when we believe it and, and we put it out there, wishes do come true. There's water. Whenever I see water, water is um, a sign for me. The message coming forth is forgiveness. Um... Forgiveness of self, forgiveness of others. Forgiveness of others is always about self. Um, with also water, it's about being in the flow, the ebb and the flow. You put it out there. I always say the words that we um, speak are the thoughts that we think, which then are the spells that we cast, right? So um, put it out there. So fulfillment of wishes. Um, good things are coming. Just keep dancing. Keep doing um, is there a reason why I said dancing for you? Did you used to dance, Deanna? Um, also, the number nine is an angel number. It means get to work now, light worker. You have all of the prerequisites. Stop, stop trying to get this certificate and that certificate. And what else do I need to know? Just do. Embrace all of your skills. Does that make sense, Deanna? Honor yourself. I, I feel like you don't acknowledge yourself. What's the no? Oh, you're not a dancer? Okay. <laughs> but we actually, 
actually, um, if Natalie's here, she could probably recite this <laughs> for me. We're all dancers. Each and every single, single one of us, we move, we breathe, we put our feet on the floor, we pick up a cup, we shake hands with someone. We wrap our arms around someone. That's all a dance. We are all dancers. We're all choreographers. We choose the moves that we make. So to say that we're not dancers is like saying you're not celebrating the gift of you. Yeah. Oh, I, oh there's hearts floating by. Oh, <laughs> yay. Um, hello, James, Andre. Hello, Angel Wings and Jennifer. Jennifer, you danced. Well, you danced uh, or you're dancing. <laughs> Let's acknowledge you dance. Maybe it's time to shake your groove thing a little bit again. John, you're very positive. Awesome. Yeah, Johnny. <laughs> yeah, Johnny actually knows the life I came from. Hey! All right, I'm saying Carmen. Hello, Carmen. This would be a real interesting show, David. Wouldn't it? That's, that, yeah. It, it, it's gonna be. <laughs> wow, there's 20 people. Deanna, thanks, David. Happy Mindy is doing better. She is. I'm still worried. I'm still nervous. Um, because her back, it's big. Um, but I'm rubbing it, massaging it. We don't want it to go out again. We don't want to have the surgery. Um, yet it's, it's very challenging to not get your dogs to jump on anything. It's really challenging to tell your dogs, um, you're going to hurt yourself. <laughs> Actually, it's not challenging telling them. It's challenging them not listening. <laughs> uh Donna, you are super popular, David. Uh, and, well, and, yeah, I'm so popular. Can someone come up and <laughs> clean up after Mindy right now? <laughs> really? Oh, well. All right. So, a few more questions. Yeah, she just went, too. So, this kidney infection thing is not done. Not good. I dance a lot as well. It helps. It does. Dan <clears throat> well... Dancing lifts the spirit. <clears throat> when I was younger, before I actually started dancing, I used to choreograph um, in my grandma's house and break the chandelier. She got tired of me breaking the chandelier. First, she took me to karate because she just needed, she wanted me to get the energy out of me. Yeah, I didn't go for that one too well. Once they yelled at me and told me to drop and give them 20, I was like, I'm here. <laughs> um, so then I went, to dance class and yeah <laughs> is there a card that speaks to you about me all right donna let us yes john my dogs are okay with fireworks all right so donna just um allow yourself to um let your mind flow and because I know what Donna looks like, I mean, I know, well, it's hard in these bubbles, but I know Donna, because Donna used to dance for me. All right. Ah, okay. So, daydreams and decisions, okay? So, Donna, daydreams are, and decisions are about allowing yourself to daydream, but making the decisions in those daydreams. Those daydreams are your visions that you're putting off. But, and also, it's like, it's like um, are you procrastinating? I mean, you're doing a lot, but there's something like time to stop procrastinating and make those decisions and manifesting your dream. Does that make sense? And I love... Because this card is so you. Yeah? Does that make sense, Donna? Love your Cookie Monster shirt. Glad Mindy is feeling better. You go, David. Oh, thanks, Stacy. How are you? 
All right, Jennifer. And Angel Wings, me too. Okay. My daughter will be traveling to Africa, India, and Australia. Will this be a good trip? Also wondering if I'm on the right road. Um, immediately, right away, I feel like yes and yes. Um, yet I also want to um, challenge you to shift the word right. All is right. Um, you're on the road that you create. Um, acknowledge your creation. I also, Jennifer, feel like you're very hard on yourself and go, 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 go. Um, I also feel like I want to say something about water. Um, am I correct? Like I, I would encourage you to drink some more water. Um, I don't know. Have you been dehydrated lately? What's with the water? I want to focus on water and you, Jennifer, for some reason. Sorry, I keep looking. I'm checking on the dogs. Um, hi, Savannah. Reasons to go on. I have no motivation to do anything. Even All right, let me read this out loud. Hi, David. This is Savannah, Sheila's daughter. Yes, I know Savannah. I have been having a really hard time finding reasons to go on. I have no motivation to do anything, even things that used to make me happy. I uh, see more. All right, how do I see more? Um, um, I have intense anxiety, too. I'm not really sure what to do with my life. I have no will or motivation. Life seems like a burden. I was wondering if maybe you had some advice. All right, so um, immediately, the uh, I have... Uh, Anxiety. Anxiety is expecting the worst. That's really what it is. Always looking over your shoulder, like what's going to happen? Like worried. That's anxiety. Um, acknowledge what inspires you. I want to say keep a journal. Right? Keep a journal next to your bed and write down things that bring a smile to your face. Whatever it is. When um, singing, singing, yes, singing. Um, I also, for some reason, I don't know. I keep seeing a lot of animals. I don't know. Have you thought about like working with animals, veterinary school? Um, yet you're saying that. I'm trying. You have no will or motivation. Mm, let me call this out. That's a lie. You're lying to yourself. You have will and you have motivation. Just look in the mirror. Look at your beautiful self. Look at the gift that you are in this world. That's motivation. Yeah, we all have will. It's just getting up and doing it. Seeing that you are an inspiration. Does that make sense? And Savannah, you know, you know, and life seems like a burden. Yeah, we get it. Sometimes we have the weight of the world on our shoulders. Are you reaching out? Are you communicating with people? I feel like you're very internal. Is that correct? You look sexy in that t-shirt. Good night, sweetie. Good night, Natalie. I love you. Really? <laughs> so Savannah, um... It's time to honor the artist self that is within you. Yeah. And I really feel that that anxiety will dim, dim, lessen. And I'm going to say diminish. Yeah. I also feel like there's um, some negative people around you. Um, I don't know if you've been feeling like you've been lied to recently. Um, trust your gut. I briefly considered it but thought I couldn't do it. Yes, I am very internal. Okay, so you briefly considered it, but you thought you couldn't. That was your fear. That was just your emotional fear. That's okay. You can do it. You know you can. Other people know you can. So do it. Just move through that fear. That's just your fear saying, no, don't do it. Don't do it. You suck. No, the truth of the matter is you don't. All right. We only suck when we tell ourselves we suck or we're not good enough. 
Um, all right, a few more, guys. So, um, Stacy, great advice, David. Love the definition of anxiety. Oh, <laughs> thanks. Well, <laughs> oh, Jennifer. Oh, shoot. Wait, let me. Um, I was drinking a lot of water and lemon, and it made me feel great, but then stopped. Hmm. I think I will get back to it. Awesome. <laughs> good. 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 D. Hey, bro. <laughs> Dude. Dean and I went to school together. <laughs> I when are you I wanna I want you to go live and sing to us, Dee. Donna, what are you agreeing with? Donna. 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 Oh Donna, I wish I could hear you cackle and trabaz right now. <laughs> Sheila. Thank you very much. It means the world. I appreciate everything you do. Thank you again. Mm. Thank you. Thank you for showing up in the gift of you. Definition of anxiety. Yeah. You know, anxiety is one that we do throw around. Like, I, I actually, that's one word I really, I don't say I, I'm anxious. I'll say I'm worried. Um, that's one I say a lot. I'm worried because I worry a lot. Um, but an anxious, that's not one that I really acknowledge so much, but yeah, anxious, those, that feeling, it's expectations. It's expecting the worst case scenario. Hey, Amy, love your shirt. It's cookie monster. Yeah. My, my, be one of my, my best friend, John got it for me, which I'm debating if I'm going to go to the gym tonight. Or if I'm going to wait till the morning. So, who else? Did I miss any? Looks like I got them all so far. Wow. Keep them going. A few more minutes, guys. What's going on? Talk to me. How are y'all? <laughs> there's 14 of you. <clears throat> I need some more. Oh, now there's 12. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> Actually, I know what I know what happens when you go to press it and type it goes away. Oh, Angel. Okay. All right. And is it Mercedes? Am I correct? M M M Mayor? It's Mayor, right? Carm, will you help me with it? Carmen? All right, Mayor, I'm, um, I grabbed two decks for you. All right, so. Huh. First one. Oh, that's, this is freaky. Okay, this is really freaky. Carmen, I want you to help me with my show. <laughs> All right. So, Mayor, first is rejoice and celebration. So this is about honoring the celebration, you know, being in cel cel celebratory, celebrate yourself. Um, also, I feel like I want to say anniversary. Is there an anniversary coming up? And does August 18th mean anything, Mayor? I don't know if, if August 18th celebrate is there an anniversary a birthday um anything like that maybe it's something to come again I do predict things I don't sometimes we all have free will though we have choice I, I'm a human man I don't know so mayor August 18th I don't know what that means but rejoice in celebration and then seek the truth so seek the truth. This is from the love deck. This is about trusting your intuition. Um, if you feel that you're being lied to, if you feel like there's untruth, trust yourself. Um, and you don't have to hook into it. Um, I sometimes like to call it out a lot. <laughs> it can get you a little, it can, it can create havoc, yet... It, it can be a very empowering thing, too, all around. Yet, um, 
this that seek the truth is about the truth within you. So wherever you're denying, stop denying it. You're only denying yourself. Okay, does that make sense, Mayor? As you type, I'll go to Randy. Randy, hi, David. If you could, would like to hear what cards say for a life change that I'm pursuing. Randy, as I'm reading that, I keep hearing the name Charles in my head. I don't, does this name mean anything for you? Um, yes, that made sense for you, Angel, Mayor. Okay, great. Um, so Randy, I keep hearing that name. Good night, Carm. Love you. Um, so keep that name. I, I, is there anyone that passed the name Charles? Um, but it's, it's like going, yes. Okay. What is the Charles, please? Um, <sighs> I feel really dizzy too. Would this Charles have a dizziness type? What? In order for this to go away, I need some type of affirmation. So we know it's Charles, but what's like dizzy? And and I also want to say name connection. So the name connection, then someone passed on named Charles and someone living named Charles. Is this correct, Randy? All right, so Randy, we're going to see heart chakra. Okay? Childhood friend lost touch 30 years ago. Ah, huh. okay. Um so maybe have you looked for him on Facebook? Um maybe there will be a reuniting that's coming up. Um, and would, if it was a childhood friend, would his father or grandfather, would you know the name Charles? Cause I'm saying name connection. Um, so name, that's what that means. Um, so heart chakra, Randy, um, don't close off your heart. Was there some type of recent split? And then I also feel like you're going into relationships expecting. So if, and I keep seeing a triangle, a triangle for me, hi Phyllis. Um, <laughs> um, a triangle means triangle, Trinity or mm, triangle, take yourself out. So I don't know if there was some type of infidelity. Um, like you're fearing that in future relationships and like, expecting it, looking for it, yet it's like, I, I want to say trust your intuition. You know all the signs. Stop looking for them, okay? Um, Johnny, I see your question, and immediately it's, yeah, when you start loving yourself, you're, you're kind of hard on yourself, and you're um, not being accountable for some things. Am I correct in that? So it's time to pick yourself up by the bootstraps and get to going, whatever that means. I, 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 yeah, I don't, I hope that makes sense. Um, Carmen, I'm going to pull one for you. I, and actually, I'm going to pull two. Ha! Carmen, this is for you. This is well-deserved reward. So, Miss Karmenichka, Karmenichka, um, this is about you standing on top of the gold, yes? Being the beautiful star that you are. Um, so, oh, perfect. So, see, I just pulled this and you're tired. So, there, I'm going to pull one more, all right? Yes, you, this is for you, dear. Well-deserved reward. So, you know, just be ready to accept it. Be really ready to embrace it. And then leadership. Okay? I pulled leadership. Archangel Gabriel says, it's time for you to assume your leadership power and position and lovingly guide others. They're both for you, Karmenichka. They're both for you. Well-deserved reward. 
and leadership. So, do you see how that works together? Leadership, you get your reward. You get your reward when you lead. Yeah? So, guide others, which you do. Keep doing that, Earth Angel. Keep doing it. And then accept the love. All right? All right, everybody. I've stayed on 30 minutes. I was only going to stay on 15. So, <laughs> you're welcome, John, me. <laughs> all right. So, I love everybody. I love you all. Sweet dreams. Um, and do something to honor yourself. Pat yourself on the back. Acknowledge yourself. Um, also, get an individual reading from me if you want. Visit my website, davidbeck.com, and spell it D-A-V-E-D-B-E-C-K, so y'all can say you've been daved. <laughs> so, good night, blessings, and we'll see you soon. Bye.